Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today we're going to be talking about the secret shop, aka bingo, in Marvel Future Fight that comes around once a year for Black Friday. And I think I made a dedicated video about this a while back, a year or two ago, but I still get a lot of questions about it, and it has become part of my routine for Black Friday. So I wanted to explain the strategy for it and sort of demystify as much as possible so that players can make as always, informed, you know, smart decisions about how to spend their money and how to spend their crystals. So, first of all, what is the secret shop? It's essentially a game game event. I don't want to call it a game mode where every 30 minutes, those three items there on the right, the black antimatter, the, the, the biometrics and the reforging cores, they will rotate. And there's a list of items that you can get now. Normally, you would look and say, oh, I need CCF, or oh, I need Awakening Crystals, oh, I need some Tier 4 materials, and you would sort of pick and choose what you want. But that is actually not the strategy that you, you should use, in my opinion, for the, the Secret Shop at all. It's not the strategy at all. That strategy will end up costing you, you know, a lot more, 50,000, 60,000 Crystals. It'll be very, very expensive if you do it that way, versus if you do it the way that I'm going to explain, which is essentially you only purchase items that are 300 crystals or less. So I say 300 as the cutoff. Most items you can see here at the lowest price point are 250 crystals, 275 crystals, uh, 50 crystals for the crafting cubes. Some of these have a limit, and the limit is refreshed every time you start a new bingo board. But um, basically, that, that's the way that it works, and that's the, that's the strategy that I think is the most effective because... If you are disciplined and you can check the shop every 30 minutes for, you know, 16 hours a day when you're when you're awake, assuming you sleep eight hours a day like a normal person, um, if you sleep less, I'm sorry, or if you don't need as much sleep, that's awesome. But um, not about not not a sleep video. Anyways, um, if you are disciplined and patient and you just purchase the lowest, cheapest items each time, and I'll give you an example here, like I'm going to buy this one here. I don't need these items, but that's not the goal of the bingo board the goal of the bingo board is to get the items on the corners like the items around the edges here you know it's it's to get these items like the two odin's blessing selectors and up there in the corner the mega mythic uniform upgrade ticket so you're essentially trading about five thousand crystals okay because that's how much it costs on average if you employ this strategy if you use this strategy it takes about 5,000 crystals for every single bingo board. And so you will, you're will you basically trading 5,000 crystals, which sounds like a lot, but it gets better and better. You're trading 5,000 crystals for the Mega Mythic Ticket, the two Odin's Blessings Selectors, and then whatever else you get. You'll obviously get more of those rewards uh, because you have to fill out five full lines, right? You have to you have to do the line five times, and I'll, I'll uh, post a screenshot here of my first bingo board. Um, but you're basically trading 5,000 crystals for those rewards. Now, that by itself doesn't seem that interesting. You're like, okay, Alex, yeah, 5,000 crystals, you know, for the for the ticket and the Odin's Blessing stuff. That's kind of cool. But that's not that doesn't seem really worth my time. And it's not by itself. You're right. On top of that, when you finish a bingo board, you get an extra reward on each level. And if you click right up here uh, next to the, the, little, the little magnifying glass there, if you click that, It'll open up this menu that will show you the other rewards. So these are basically, these are the rewards that you get for finishing the bingo board. So I've already finished my first bingo board. I spent 5,000 crystals. If you go ahead and look here uh, on the um, the crystal spending event, the bonus mission, I'm at, uh, what am I at? I'm actually at 6,825 crystals right now because I spent, you know, I've spent crystals already purchasing items but if you go ahead and take i did i completed my first bingo board totally because i wanted to get the rewards that i was missing so that was 25 that was the full 30 squares and then here we have uh one two three four five six squares so 36 square squares divided by let's just call it seven thousand crystals even um for this bonus mission yeah we'll just call it seven thousand it doesn't matter that much but anyways uh, no, I did the wrong 7,000 divided by 36. So I've spent on average, right? If you average out those 7,000 crystals that I've spent and I've gotten 36 bingo slots, like 36 of the numbers, right? 30 on the first board 
and now six here on this board, um, I'm averaging under 200 crystals per square. I'm averaging 194 crystals per square. That is the goal. That is what you're looking for. So you only buy the cheapest stuff. You have to check every 30 minutes. If, you, if you're lucky enough to roll all three items being very cheap, you want to buy them as fast as you can because the refresh, the item refresh, will also reset to 30 minutes um, when you purchase the last item. So I'm going to purchase this one here for 275 If I purchase, I'm not going to, but if I purchase the black antimatter, that 15-minute timer would reset back to 30 and it would show me three new items here. So in order just to keep it straight in your head, to have it resetting every, you know, on the hour and on the half an hour, you want to make sure that you sort of manage that timer as best as you can, okay? Because otherwise, it might refresh at like, you know, uh, the hour plus 10 and then the hour plus 40, right? So it's refreshing at like 11.40 a.m. and then 12.10 and then 12.40 and it's you're going to get all confusing in your head. So it's easier to just um, have it refresh, you know, because it, it automatically refreshes every 30 minutes. Uh, have it just stick to that on the hour, on the on the hour and a half uh, default timer. But yeah, it's basically these rewards here. It's these bingo rewards here that are the main prize and the main goal for players. So I'm actually not even like, I don't know if I would do the bingo if I didn't get these rewards here, like the Mega Mythic Ticket and the Odin's Blessing Selector. I don't know if I would do it, but honestly, I am doing it for these rewards because for 10,000 crystals, I'm getting all that stuff, plus I'm getting a CTP selector, plus I'm getting a five-star artifact selector, right? This is very good, and I don't actually have to spend real money. I can spend just crystals, and again, it's about 10,000 crystals, right? And then I get all the, the rewards from the crystal spending event. If I want to go one step further to step three, I can get a mighty CTP selector. These are not random, these are selectors. This is what makes it so appealing. That's how much you get for spending 15,000 crystals. So for this last, for, for level four, right? For this one right here, this is a six star selector. So essentially, if you use this strategy and you spend about 5,000 crystals on each board and you do the first four boards, then that means for the price of just that one crystal pack, the, the most expensive crystal pack, you buy that one one time, right? This one right here. You buy this once, which is $100 US or 140 Canadian. You buy that one time. And if you do the bingo and you spend all your crystals on that, because it's 19,000 19, crystals and you need about 20,000. So you're basically saying for $100, you can get a CTP selector, a mighty CTP selector, a five star and a six star artifact selector. And all of this. And then you get four of these. You get eight of these, right? You get four of these. Imagine that was a pack in the shop. Imagine if the shop was selling a pack like that. Four six star mega rank up tickets, eight Odin's blessing selectors, four mega mythic uniform tickets, and then that other stuff that I said there. I'm not even talking about step five. Step five is amazing because you get a brilliant CTP selector, right? Yeah, so that's why the bingo is so attractive for a lot of spenders because you actually don't have to spend that much money as long as you're patient, disciplined, and you play the bingo for the entire time. Because you're gonna need, you know, four or five days on the bingo to, you know, hunt down those cheaper items. And it can definitely be frustrating to log into the game every 30 minutes and see a bunch of expensive items that you have to skip. For sure, I understand that. But like I said, just stay disciplined. Eventually, you will get uh, those cheaper items, and then you'll buy you'll buy your way through the bingo boards. And again, as soon as you finish one bingo board, you don't have to finish it completely. You just have to finish five lines. Uh, then you can move on to the next one, and then you just repeat that process four more times to finish all five boards if you want to get all five steps. And generally speaking, the 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 step rewards get better and better and better. So I would aim for at least step two. I think step two and step four and step five are fantastic, right? The mighty selector is not that good considering you can just smash two CTPs together and it guarantees you a mighty, like it's a 100% chance. The Brilliant Selector is insanely good because the best chance you have at reforging for a Brilliant is 20% or 21% and you're still sacrificing six CTPs. And you only have a one in five chance of, of getting it right versus this just being guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's absolutely, this is like the, the, the bingo is mind-blowingly good value uh, for players who spend. So yeah, 
if you have money to spend still and you have a lot of crystals and you don't need to put them towards uniforms i would strongly consider uh going into the secret shop because not only does it give you some really nice items to build out key characters like you know three ctps and two artifacts that can build out three tier fours right because you just skip one of the tier fours that doesn't have a very strong artifact like let's say you got venom black bolt and blue dragon you want blue dragon's artifact you want black bolts artifact boom boom and then you skip venoms and then they all get ctps you see what i'm saying so you can build out characters and it sets up your inventory because look at this I, this is from last year right i have all these tickets from last year because of the bingo uh, and now i have more sitting in my inventory right now again uh because of the bingo i actually don't know if it's sorted properly there's there's the ctp from the bingo and those are the odin's blessing selectors from the bingo last thing i'll say about the bingo is that sometimes you get unlucky and you'll finish five lines but you won't have one of the key lines like the diagonal that you need for the uh, mega mythic uniform ticket the 21 17 13 9 and 5. in that case again depending on how much time is left in the event i would recommend being patient and finishing that like finishing the line that's why sometimes you you know on average you're not actually going to finish the bingo board in 25 purchases right with 25 squares it's going to take you a little bit longer because you don't choose which square it's random on average it's going to take you like 27 28 squares uh but sometimes you're better off just spending that those last you know 400 crystals because it's 400 crystals to get an odin's blessing selector it's 400 crystals to get the the mega the mega rank up ticket or whatever you know what i'm saying so yeah um that being said the secret shop is definitely not for everyone and i would say like i think every step is worth it for sure um but only it's only worth it if you're going to be disciplined if you're going to purchase the big ticket items for over 300 crystals it's it's definitely not worth it even the tier 4 materials we've done the math it's not worth it if you want to buy the tier 4 materials you're better off just buying the tier 4 pack straight up it's this is categorically worse uh than that so yeah hopefully this has explained the bingo and uh given you tips if you want to dive into it i had to make this video asap because obviously time is running out on the bingo so you know uh it, it's, it's something that you either do now or you just have to skip until next black next year black friday but yeah hit me up in the comments down below join the discord if you have more questions discord.gg slash the new meta thank you so much for watching smash the like button if you enjoyed the content and i'll see you in the next one take care